Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at iOS 11 Beta 1 on this iPod Touch 6th generation. So Apple just introduced iOS 11 back in WWDC. So we're gonna take a look at it, see what's new, and yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing that's brand new here is the brand new Control Center. As you guys can see here, Apple is completely remapping the Control Center in iOS 11 to this sort of title kind of style. Which personally for me, I don't really like it because it just looks kind of messy. But it does come up with uh, great improvement features and you can add more titles here and there. So as you can see here, I can just rearrange anything I want. I can just remove any toggles that I want. And I, so I can just move any toggles that I want. So if I want to move this flashlight to somewhere in a center, I can do that. Which really, really makes the control center now customizable, which is really amazing. Now, other thing that you can do with the toggles, you can 3D touch on those toggles to get more control, or you can long press on a non 3D touch device, which is what I do right now here. And you can also long press on these toggles so you can get the scrubber which is now up and down. So it looks like the uh, home kit kind of style. You see if you guys remember those. Also you can get this cool animation to get to the uh, rotation locks and the uh, do not disturb. Which is a really nice touch that Apple did. Now an interesting bug here in iOS 7 on the i6G iPod is the Apple Kit low power mode and a mute model for the iPod Touch. So that's a bit interesting. Another hidden feature here in iOS 11 is you can finally able to screen record your iOS device when you need to plug it into the computer. It's gonna be interesting though because Apple usually hates screen recording applications that usually came to the App Store, they usually deleted it, but now they implementedly have that enabled in Control Center on iOS 11. It's really nice, record in 60fps, you can disable or enable the microphone, have controls on your screen record, which is really cool. We also got a brand new iTunes logo and the App Store logo, which is pretty nice. And also we got a brand new lock screen now, which you still can get your access to your widget. But the thing that's new here in the new lock screen is how it handles notifications. So you can see now we can swipe up to get our old notifications and your recent notification will still show with the time right there. And also we still got access to the camera. We also got a brand new animation, so now swapping up. Now, one thing that I just do not understand is why the notification center on your home screen is now just as the same as the lock screen. So as you can see there, it's just pretty much the same thing as the lock screen, which is just get super duper confusing. I have no idea what Apple thinking out here, but hopefully in the future of iOS 11 versions, this will get improved. Another thing that's new here, and hopefully it will stay in future version of iOS 11, is the dock icon label is now disappeared. So definitely inspired for the jailbreak, but I don't care because it looks so cool and so clean. And hopefully this is not only on beta 1, it's hopefully gonna stay in future version of iOS 11. Another welcome thing changed in iOS 11 is that you can finally move multiple icons on your home screen, which is definitely again inspired for the jailbreak, but I do not care because it actually do really really good and also the icon move for now are a little bit more stickier which is pretty cool. Now throughout iOS 11, we will now get greeted by this big bold text with every type of applications just like the music app on iOS 10 so like messages and all those we get greeted by those big bold text we also can see here I'm on iOS 11 beta 1 now if I go to storage here we will now get greeted by this bar style so you can see the exact storage on your on your iOS devices just like on the Mac we also got now offload unused app so offload applications mean we will now delete the applications but not the app data we also got now the shutdown settings in general so simply get a broken power button you guys can press that which is really really handy now we just I don't understand there why Apple keep removing wallpaper we also got a brand new wallpaper here which is you know the seashore which is really nice good deal the uh, perspective thingy and all that I just don't understand look at this 
why Apple removed the wallpaper. I mean, you guys see here, this makes me mad. They want to throw my iPod away. Apple, please stop deleting wallpapers. Now, we get these cool animations now on top of the application status bar. We get these really cool animations. I really like that. In notification settings, we now get show previews on on our lock screen. So it's kind of just like the Android hidden notifications. It's pretty cool. Now, interestingly, Apple not only called notification center, they called cover sheet now in the uh, home screen thingy. So that's a bit interesting. Another new thing here in iOS 11 that now we can actually type to Siri. So just like Google Assistant, now we can actually type to Siri instead of speaking to it. So for example, you guys in a crowded area, you need some quick little uh, questions here, just ask Siri. Now you can actually type on it and Siri will also not speak to you what the result is. So that's pretty cool. Now there is also a secret dark mode which is called smart invert in display accommodations now I don't really call this dark mode maybe I have to work this out because as you can see here it does look nice but you can see that the dark is still kind of bluish and also throughout applications such as Instagram here the color is still doesn't it just it just look weird but it does say in the descriptions though that pictures will not get like inverted but we do see here that actually inverted so I guess maybe in this is on the first beta to get Apple some some stuff to work on it. Maybe that's why. But I do admit it does look nice. We also got a brand new app open and closing animation, which is kind of this like circle type of style. Really cool. Now when I message, we got this app drawer, so it does stores all your digital touch, your GIF, your little games. Now also Apple Pay supports pay to pay to your friends using iMessage. In camera, we now got a new filter scrubber, so no longer those little title right now. And we got a new filter now, which is pretty cool. And I think they removed a filter or two, maybe wrong, I don't know. Now in Safari, the search and address bar, they got a little more circular in the corner. We also got a brand new video player of QuickTime, so the UI is a little bit different, which is look so clean and so nice. So now your scrubber now going to the bottom, you still have your scrubber, your fast, slow scrubber. We got the brand new volume HUD, which just looks so minimalistic, doesn't interrupt your content. We also got a toggle to exit on a full screen. Got a brand new UI also when you go to the portrait, the portrait mode. We also now got a quick little mute switch in the volume bar. We also got a brand new UI in the multitasking pane, so as you guys can see there, we no longer have the home screen little preview, so that's gonna be a little bit weird, especially for new people, and also, especially after you clear all your applications, you could be with a blur, some people might get confused, it's a little bit weird. We also got a new icon and UI of the calculator, so it's now circular, so it kind of reminds me of the iOS 1.0 or the iPhone OS 1.0 days, where we got everything is circular. We also got a new application, it's called Files, so it is not a full file manager that root based file manager, it is basically a file manager for your cloud storage, for your iCloud, Dropbox, iCloud Drive, and all those great stuff. Now another new thing that's completely redesigned in iOS 11 is the brand new App Store. So the App Store now is completely redesigned and completely got an overall brand new look. So when you open it up, you get grid with the today view, so it's like a little help like tips, like a brand new app of the day. So also developers can now implement this UI where they can have pictures, a little bit of text, a little bit of quotes on their app section. So a little bit promoting their application in a nicer way. App info got a better view too, got little pictures on top. It's like on the Google Play Store. When you scroll up right there, you got your app icon and your application action. So it's simple, you need to be paid or updated or free. They can make a quick little action on top of the status bar, which looks really cool. Now, personally, uh, it's gonna have to grow on, on me, this brand new app store. It does look nice, but for some people, it might get a little bit confusing because it just could completely redesign in a good way. I do I do have a, I do have a, I do like it. I do like it, don't get me wrong, I do like it. But it does have to grow on people, have to grow on me a little bit time to time. We also got a brand new, a little bit new update section. Also, you can see up there, Big bold text, search now move in the corner, which looks new. Now every time a screenshot, we can also get a brand new UI, so now we can quickly crop your screenshot to the point that you want to don't want the people to see. You can also draw, so you can point up a specific point of your screenshot, 
which is look really really cool and they can also take multiple screenshots and edit them together. Now the brand new notification center and the control center also can be accessed using the landscape style so it's, it is a little bit buggy now but hopefully of course Apple will fix that in the future. And there's like the iPad style notification center. Also there's the brand new notification control center which is like full screen, really cool. So there you go guys, that's a quick little hands-on video uh, of iOS 11 on the 6th generation iPod Touch. Now personally, I think it's a pretty nice update. You know, I guess Apple will have to work some more stuff, fixing some more bugs in the final version of iOS 11, which they always kind of did. Now, you guys may be seeing there that the iPhone and the iPod side doesn't really get that much update in iOS 11. I don't know about you, but I think I kind of see that that because this update, I kind of more focus on the iPad side. So if you guys have an iPad, very good for you guys because especially with the iPad Pro users and that brand new 10.5 inch iPad Pro. So in the iPad Pro, we got a brand new dock that you guys access anywhere on any applications. We got a brand new drag and drop. More than one application now can run at the same time. So you can see here they got four applications running at the same time. But yeah, so that is a quick little hands on there on the iPad Touch 6 generations. Also, this iOS 11 works on the iPhone 5S above, iPad Touch 6 generations, and the iPad Air and all of that. Alright, so thank you guys for watching my quick little hands on of iOS 11. I will catch you guys in the next video.